Ladies, gentlemen, and members of our live studio audience, welcome to the first ever Persona Game Show, Antarctica Edition. Now, give it up for your host for tonight, the protagonist of Persona 6. Thanks, random voice in my head. How are we all doing today? Now how about we reveal our contestants? On my right, we have the protagonists from Persona 4 and 5. How are we doing today? Hey, you guys had your turn. We're, We're doing, doing good, good Mr. Persona 6. 6. And on my left, we have the protagonist from Persona 3, and someone who's not in their correct art style. Oh, shoot. So is your hair supposed to be orange or brown? Our contestants will be guessing all 7 Persona games and projects that will be revealed for the Persona 25th anniversary. First one to not lose wins. Got it? Good. Can I get 7 numbers on the board? Alright you two, from a survey of 100 Persona fans whose uncles work at Atlas, what will be announced at the Persona 25th anniversary? Persona 5 on Switch. Persona 5 on Steam Deck. Alright Team 3, you're up. Remember, you have two guesses left and if you get both of them wrong, then Team 4 5 has a chance to end your whole career. What's your answer? Persona 4 on consoles. Persona 5 Remaster Remaster. Lol, sucks for you guys. Anyways, it's your turn. Some bullshit Persona 25th Anniversary theme mugs and calendars that just barely qualifies as merch. And Team 4 5 gets those points for the round. Alright chads, we've got 5 remaining. Buzz in. In 3, 2, 1, go. Fancy. Can I get new Persona ports for 800? Persona ports for 800. This Persona game is known for its iconic hot spring scene. The answer was Persona 5 Strikers on Xbox. You, can I get Persona Q3 for 200? No. Well I tried guys. Time to reset the turn rotation. The identical voice of Joker or Makoto, it's your pick. Can I get Pisa for 1000? A sequel to a previously existing piece of Persona media. Fancy. What is Persona 5 Royal? The animation. Correct. No please, not again, anything but that. Think of the children. Think of the children. Alright FMC, you're at a quarter of a million dollars right now. The question is, which of the following is statistically more likely to happen in your opinion? Your options are, A. Persona 3 Remake, B. Persona 3 FES and Portable Remaster, Fem. C. Just regular Persona 3, and D. There is no fourth option. Can I call a helpline? Sure. Hello, I need help with this question. Hey, sorry can't talk right now. We're about to watch some dumb duh throw a quarter of a million dollars down the drain. It's like GameStop all over again. Anyways, good luck with your homework or whatever. Can I use my 50-50 help instead? Sure thing. You now have two options left. Oh nice. Now all that's left is DC. But there's only three vehicles in all of the games. How can you justify making an entire Persona 5 game about driving cars? Haha, ha, funny meme go blue. Well this is a lost cause. Can we just move on to the next podcast topic? Yes. No. Okay. So we have a lot of fans on PlayStation, Nintendo Switch and PC, right? Yes. yes. And a lot of our older games can't be played without taking a trip to the Seven Seas, right? Correct. Correct. Me hearty. So even if we put the bare minimum amount of effort on ports, emphasis on bare minimum, shouldn't letting people buy our games make us more money? Nope. nope. And why the hell not? Well you see, the reason why we can't just release old games on modern platforms is a bit long. I'm listening. So you see, we have this contract with Sony that makes us have to abruptly cut. Alright teams, for some reason the scoreboard is evenly matched and we have one final Persona game remaining. So this last round will decide the winner. Good luck, and may the best. What's your answer? Persona 5 Arena. Nope. Makoto. Persona 6. Unfortunately that's wrong as well. Which means that, wait what? Persona 7 Persona 3 English Movies 
Persona crossover with Fire Emblem. Persona 5 featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Persona Q1 and 2 on Switch. Persona 4 on Nintendo DS. Persona 3 in a nutshell 3.